Welcome back, Young Watermark Prime, Beef and Matt, another daily look behind the scenes at the Tower of London. Before we start, I have been asked by my social media advisor, my 23 year old son, that I've got to ask you to like and subscribe to this channel. I've absolutely no idea what that means, but if that means anything to you, do that. Today, we are inside what we call the Cradle Tower. Cradle Tower doesn't look much today, it's easy to forget it, but it had a very, very important job. It was built by Edward III, and he built it as a private river entrance to the Tower of London. When he built it, outside of here, through those windows behind me, was the River Thames. Obviously, he didn't want to come down the Thames and have to go through Traitor's Gate. He didn't want to have to push through the peasants, thong in the main gate, so he would come to this private gate. It's called the Cradle Tower because it was probably a cradle that could lift his ship up at a time of low tide so that he could walk across the drawbridge outside. It was guarded by that drawbridge and wanted the king up to climb a ladder so he'd be able to come through here. When he was inside here, it's a very simple tower, it's guarded by some portcullis, but there's two chambers. There's a chamber behind me, they're both for the guard, for young porters. Inside is, you see there, a nice fireplace to keep them warm. The other side, the porter would sit in a, a small room, which is now dressed as a cell, because it has quite a lot of historical interest, I'll, I'll mention that in a moment. But there's a staircase then that went upstairs. Upstairs, there were some beautifully furnished apartments for the king, then he could walk across uh, another bridge made of stone that went across the Lanthorn Tower, that's now gone, uh, then he could go into the Royal Apartments. Today, that behind me, as I said, is dressed as a cell, because uh, some very important people have been held here uh, and escaped from here. Um, one of those is John Gerard, but I'm going to do John Gerard and talk to you about John um, in the Salt Tower, because it's what he's much more famous for. It's a small tower here, you have to go down some steps to see it, much, uh, much maligned, much left out by the public. People sometimes just walk straight past it, they want to go and see the jewels, but ask if you don't know where it is, ask where the Cradle Tower is and come down and, and have a look at it. It's well worth seeing, a lot of history in this small tower. But for now, that's your lot. So keep safe, look after each other, be kind to each other. Be fit, Matt, signing off.